And now, these pretzels are making me thirsty. It's time for a segment. We just had one last week, but I really love this segment. And I know you do too. It's time for God's Mistakes. Now, take a look at this child murderer dressed as a nun. What are God's mistakes? He doesn't know. All he knows is how to dress like a nun in order to murder children. But you and I know that God's mistakes are the most effed up forms of life. And here's a species that I only learned about today while doing homework. Now, many of you are familiar with the praying mantises, uh, also known as mantids in scientific terms. Um, put, up the, uh, put up the name of the, th on the teleprompter of the, the genus, Peter. I wrote it in the, in the email. I forgot what it's called. These are known as dragon mantises. Now, mantises, some of you are familiar with. The regular ones are the green ones. Then you have orchid mantises. Drew, put up a picture of an orchid mantis, um, O-R-C-H-I-D. Um, orchid mantises look exactly like orchids, and they live on orchids, and they prey on their prey. Mantises are hardcore predators, and they're very intelligent. In fact, I caught one in college and had it in a tank, and when that thing made eye contact with you, it was very, very, very disturbing. Yeah, that's an orchid. Well, get a, a photo of an orchid mantis on an orchid. Um, you could see, yeah, it's just amazing. Even the eyes, you can see, are petal-shaped. Their closest relatives are the cockroaches. And you know, mantises have their forearms like this with barbs in the inside, which cockroaches have as well. Now, there are things called ghost mantises, which are extremely elongated. Today, I learned about the dragon mantis. It's a genus called Toxodera, and it's only found in Southeast Asia. We have a few clips. This is what they look like as nymphs, which is the young, the first video. And you can see they look just like dried up leaves on a branch, even the way they move, that is them, that's not the wind, that's them intentionally moving back and forth to look like dried up leaves on a branch waiting for prey to get close. I should also point out that mantises are, mantids and mantises are highly cannibalistic. So you'll have the uh, egg, I forgot the term for it is, you'll have 500 of them and they're eating each other like crazy and of course very famously uh, mantises eat each other as a means of intercourse and copulation. So that's, the that's what they look like as nymphs. Now here's a video of what they look like a little older. There's a mantis in there. Even though you could kind of see the antennae, it's still hard to make out where the body is. That's it on a branch. See, that's the, look at that. Look how elongated it is. The guy's taking it off and how stretched out the abdomen is and how far apart the legs are from the forearms, or the forelegs, I guess technically you would say. Look at that. It looks exactly like a curved branch, down to the coloration and everything. You can barely see the head. That is very, very, uh, it's just, I mean, God clearly made a mistake with this one. That's why he wanted to hide it. Now the next one, we have one more or two more videos. One more. The next one, after this is done, this is a species that was only described, don't play it yet. This is a species that was only described in 2009. So the thing is, a lot of these species, they'll, they'll be known to science, but no one scientific officially describes them, or no one ever sees them. So this is Toxodera bayari. Bay this is from 2009, from Southeast Asia. Look at this thing. And it is not small. Hit play. That's how they move. You can't even make out where the head is. Like, if anything, the tail looks like the head, because it's got leaves on it or something, like, uh, like decorations. It is, the legs are almost invisible. They look like branches. It sways like a branch in the wind. And they are for, they will take, if they get attacked, I've seen videos of like little tarsiers, which are protosimians, little monkeys, like the size of, let's say, a squirrel, go after these things. And those mantids go straight for the eyes and chase them away. They are fearless and they have no souls and no remorse. So this is just absolutely terrifying stuff. I learned about this today. Oh, can you imagine that crawling in your kitchen? It's, and oh God. And, and the thing is when they walk on you, I felt it like it's so tingly. It's very, very, very um, disturbing stuff. So that is our God's mistake lesson of the day.